Southern Milepost 721.7. No defects. On the Norfolk Southern DNH River Line, hearing the default detector at milepost 721 at 5 a.m. will usually mean one thing. The northbound Roanoke, Virginia to Binghamton, New York manifest train 10Z. Well, today is Wednesday, September 27, 2023, and the defect detector at milepost 721 went off in the early morning darkness, but today it's not the train 10Z that showed up on the radar. It's unit rock train 94Z. On the Norfolk Southern, work train symbols begin with a 9 and are usually three digits. They can be two numbers and a letter, or they may be three numerals. Train 930 that I caught in June of 2016 is an example of a work train symbol with three numerals. Authority. 
is uh, 3684, that's 3684, to attorney, and ask 6747, 6747, south at the ATH at Taylor, checkbox 2, proceed from CP679-679 to CP697-697 on main track. Heavily loaded northbound rock train 94X is an example of the two digit plus a letter train symbol. This huge aggregate hull is actually two trains in one. The first half, those funky looking yellow buckets are really cool to watch unload. This part of the train is actually a mobile conveyor belt. The rock bottom dumps from the cars onto the conveyor belt which feeds the stones in the blue control cars. The conveyor belt of the control car swivels to either side of the track, leaving metered amounts of ballast anywhere and everywhere the railroad requires it. And although this train went north in one piece, it came back in two pieces, hence the perfectly matched pair of AC and DC locomotives.
This might come as a shock to local area rail fans, but not all loaded rock trains that move over the line are pointing north. Train 931, shown here in July of 2016, was a loaded rock train moving south. South to Allentown, as I heard it over the radio. As was the practice of Norfolk Southern in 2016, like many coal and other unit mineral trains, rock trains typically ran with DC power in the form of EMD SD60Ms and SD60Is with the occasional SD70s and GE-9 sprinkled in. Back to the future. Here we are, September 27, 2023, at dawn's early light, and the train that we heard at mile 721 is the loaded northbound 94Z. And to show you how much things can change in a few short years, DC power has gone the wayside as today, this train is in the care of a pair of GE DC to AC rebuilds.
As a bonus to this video, here's train 92G clearing the main line at Taylor Yard to make way for a southbound train 11Z. Somewhat unusual for this train is the date, Wednesday, October 11, 2023. 92G is often called the tech train, but its actual name is the geometry train. This funky looking piece of hardware records a digital profile of the track, which is used to plan for future upgrades and maintenance. Geometry trains, or tech trains if you fancy, are normally found in the early spring and summer months of the year. Don't know what prompted the bringing of this train out in the fall month of October, but it was a nice unexpected catch nonetheless. What intrigued me more than anything was the number 9649 assigned to the train, a Dash 940 CW that was built in February of 2001 and placed in service that same month. These locomotives are getting harder and harder to come by as more than half of the over 1,200 the Norfolk Southern had on their roster have been rebuilt into the AC-powered AC44C6N. Good, double check, clear 20. It's funny because for years the Dash 9s on NS were considered mundane and boring. Personally, I love seeing them doubled or tripled up together. And as I said for years that once the ranks of the NS D9 started getting thin, those same rail fans would be out in force documenting the last of them. And here we are today. After the Z had passed by the G, the G then backed out onto the main line and continued its northward journey. This train would ultimately go as far north of at least Albany, New York. Maybe further east into Vermont and Massachusetts. I don't know. I do know that it turned back south to Binghamton, New York, where it went west on the southern tier line to Buffalo and further on west. I'm told that its destination was Detroit, Michigan. Getting back to September 27, you probably forgot about that by now, a week had passed when I found myself back in Taylor Yard recording another southbound train 11Z. I was in for a couple of big surprises on this train today. The first was a perfectly matched pair of DC Jeevos on the point. Note the perfectly sequenced locomotive numbers on the cab. Pause the video if you need to take a closer look.
as if the Jivo combination up front wasn't enough. Imagine my total delight when I saw the empty candy canes bringing up the rear of today's train. And if things couldn't get any better, the cherry on top was the SD70 ACC number 1830, along with the rock train's power. All bringing up the rear and rounding out today's treasure trove of surprises.